Hi, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to view our interactive presentation today. We just have a few more topics to cover that I hope you find interesting and helpful. So let's get started and maybe we can wrap things up a little early. So think with me through that opening statement. What's the most memorable or the most engaging thing about it for you? I don't know about you, but the thing that stood out to me was when I heard him promise that he was going to finish early. And the reality is you and I both know that's not going to happen because he was just getting started. So it raises a question. What's the best way that I can open a presentation so that I hook the audience's attention from the very beginning and then keep them focused on where I'm taking them throughout the entire presentation? Referring back to our Asia opening strategy, you probably remember that that first 30 to 45 seconds are the most critical part of our entire presentation. It's in those initial seconds that we ping the limbic and we give them a reason to care about what we're talking about, or maybe they come to realize that they have a need for the content that we're sharing, and the result is they continue to listen. So we want to quickly reveal our solution after we ping their limbic, and the highlight really is about sharing the key points of the information that we're going to wrap up with, and, and then maybe having a hint of what our closing action is going to be. Now here's the key with the opening Asia sequence. It's to have our audience primed for maximum engagement throughout the rest of the presentation. So how do we do that? The audience hook. We need something that's going to wake up the limbic system. There's a lot of ways we can do that. If you're a storyteller, tell a great compelling story. Or maybe you show a, a powerful video that makes people laugh or makes people cry or it moves them in some way. Maybe we present a belief statement. If you're a great joke teller, tell a funny joke. Or maybe just simply ask a rhetorical question. Or you can always shock the audience with a provocative statement. Now, I have an idea. Let's try this opening Asia again. But this time, let's use a limbic ping. How many of you have ever sat through a presentation that was so boring you found yourself nodding off? Me too. I have another question for you. How many of you have ever been in a presentation where people were nodding off and then you realized that you were the presenter? <gasps> Me too. I'm Dwayne Tucker from Cloud Coaching International, and I am passionate about helping people become exceptional presenters. Today we're going to cover three key components, developing and delivering exceptional presentations. Number one, structure. Number two, style. And number three, using visual aids. So that by the end of this video, you too will have the tools necessary to become an exceptional presenter. Wasn't that better? Now that I've got your attention, using a simple structure to open a presentation like our Asia opening, this allows us to not only capture everyone's attention, but it's also designed to speak to all four behavioral styles. Let's take a look at how this works. The audience hook gives the doers and the talkers the what's in it for me right up front and gets them excited about listening. The solution appeals to the thinkers and guardians who will be interested in your credentials. The ideas appeal to the thinkers and guardians by giving them the structure they need. And the action appeals to all by letting the doers and talkers know what we expect of them and prepares the thinkers and guardians for action.